It is hot in South Carolina. Everybody, welcome back to my channel forgive the workout attire forgive me being all hot and sweaty I had to clear my head I had to go for a run because I was in here trying to give the right clarity to what I was trying to explain to the masses because this shit has to stop in the community because it's hurting my soul and as someone who wants to help fellow collectors and new collectors and people who have no idea about the collecting game I feel like I can instill my knowledge onto you guys. I literally just ran freaking two miles out and back and I'm just sitting here like oh my god because I got on to the live stream with Cletus and Midnight Owl sessions and literally in the chat somebody stated something that hurts my soul. This hurts my soul and this is no downplaying on them. People spend your money how you want to but he said that he spent $200 on the black light set because his target ran out. $200 when at minimum he should have paid no more than 80 because each pop is 10.99 the t-shirt 30 bucks freaking and it just hurts my soul so I'm going to go on a rant here and talk about what I've seen on Facebook talk about my experiences as a collector and just instill that knowledge because literally earlier I was shouting at the camera like what the fuck is wrong with people people are a bunch of assholes like people are treating people like shit over something that is not even a limited edition piece. So I'm gonna break that down for you right now. So yesterday, the black light variants of the Marvel figures came out in the Funko realm. There were also posters, there was drinkware, there were t-shirts, there were overpriced freaking backpacks that don't even operate as a backpack. So they're kind of worthless, more of a collector's item if you're a purse collector, I guess, because I see that more as a purse. But those came out and we knew they were coming out. Y'all, you guys know, more about when Funko is releasing their products than I do. And I've been collecting for six and a half years. I think the only other person in the community that's been collecting as long as I have or longer is Cletus. And even he said the same thing on the live stream of just stop doing what I'm about to tell you not to do. It's, it's insane. So literally these things came out. You could have pre-ordered them last night. They sold out instantly. So the next best option was of course to go to Target and find them. Now I'm gonna tell you as an experienced collector, if you really want something, you find out on Pop Finder, the app, or whatever app that you need to find out if your store has them. You can do this, you can call Target, you can look it up online, you can find the item and barcode and look it up in their system. Find out if your store has them, or find a store that does have them. See how many they have in stock, because sometimes they might have one character, all characters, or no characters. So plan accordingly. If Target opens up at five o'clock in the morning, be there an hour early. Just like you would having to get through TSA. You have to show up early or you're gonna miss your flight. Trust me, it is gonna save you a lot of heartache and it's going to save your wallet. There's no reason anybody should pay beyond retail for these pops. Here's another reason why. I wanna show you this figure. I'm gonna show you this figure. I want you to tell me where on that sticker it says limited edition. I want you to find the number, the limited amount, limited to, something to explain to me why this pop determines the value that it determines. Like what, what, what about this says, hey, I'm gonna pay 200 bucks. What about all of these says, hey, I'm gonna dish out 200 bucks because I want them so bad. This box, this sticker, this sticker says what exactly on it? Just throw it out there. I don't mean to flex, but it's the closest sticker I had for the, exper for the explanation. This sticker says limited to 480 pieces. There are 480 of these in the world and probably only a few that are signed. So explain to me why this pop that is barely 24 hours old on the market rates higher in value than some of my Dragon Ball Z pops behind me. It doesn't make any sense. This is a Target exclusive, everybody. Target exclusive. They release a little amount of pops and then they're gonna get more. 
and then they're going to get more. And basically, let's do let's do simple math here for a second. So I did the research. I asked Google how many targets were in the United States. As a census of 2018, I know it's been two years since 2018, there were 1,800 targets in the United States. Now, based off what I saw on Facebook and everything else, people got anywhere from six to 15 of each character. So if we overestimate just a little bit, let's just overestimate a little bit because that's what I did the math for. <laughs> if every target in America got 15 of the same character, they would get 75 pops in their shipment. 75 pops. And if each target in America got 75 of these pops, that puts the total to 135,000 of these things. Funko mass produces their pops. Legitimately. If they're going to release something, they put it out, they have their first wave, and then in a couple months, there's going to be a second wave, and so on. And then you're going to be able to find them, just like we can't stop seeing the Ant-Man exclusives, or some of the other exclusives that are not as well sought after. It is a Target exclusive. It's not San Diego Comic-Con. It's not New York Comic-Con. There is nothing special about these pops, aside from the fact that they are Black Light Funko Pops, and they're at Target. Another thing I want to instill on new collectors or people who are curious about collecting, just here's some more knowledge. Understand the rotation of Funko Pop Con schedules. Understand convention schedules. There are major conventions that happen throughout the year. Two major conventions in which Funko exclusively releases exclusives to. New York Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con. In between the two conventions, they might do Target Con, but all the rest of the year they're releasing other commons, Hot Topic exclusives, GameStop exclusive, Funko Shop exclusives, and so on. So when San Diego Comic-Con happens in the next following summer, San Diego Comic-Con happens this year, whether it be virtual, in person, whatever, they have already made the products for San Diego Comic-Con, so they were probably going to release them anyway and do a digital con because of COVID-19. There have been leaked lists of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, and based off some of those exclusives, I can tell you uh, almost 80 90 percent certain that these black light pops are going to mean diddly squat to collectors come comic-con time because they're not what's new and shiny i always talk about supply and demand what's new in the community and what's old some things maintain relevance some chases maintain relevance it depends on the genre they're in the chase trunks from dragon ball z has maintained revel relevance why i don't know because it was a mass-produced item but these target exclusives are also a mass produced item there are going to be hundreds of thousands of these things produced unless funko releases a list saying hey i only made ten thousand of these there is no reason for these to be any more valuable than retail price the algorithm gets all jacked up people raise the prices on these things overvalue these pops and then it really just devalues the pop in general because someone's gonna go spend two three hundred dollars on a set and in six weeks there's gonna be a new shinier pop out there and these pops are back to being worth ten twenty dollars it's simple basic math and freaking it keeps happening i keep seeing it happen i keep seeing new collectors suffer from this we have to stop enabling flippers because more situations like this are going to happen you're going to go to your target and not find what you're looking for because target will have sold them all to the flipper target is not there to prevent flippers target is there to sell items they are not in there to say everybody has to be fair if your target is fair and say hey one per customer or two per customer that's within their right Funko does not control anything that happens with their products once they are sold to retailers. The retailer decides what happens with the product because the product has already been sold to the retailer. Talking about supply and demand, right now, the demand for these is super high. That's why the price is being jacked up, because the demand is high and it seems like there's limited quantities, even though I don't feel like there are limited quantities. Some targets have mass amounts of these things and some have onesies, twosies. It all depends on where you're at. My targets, I have three targets and they all seem to get about 15 of each character, which is a lot and they completely sold out. And I know a maximum of like three collectors in the Funko community in Charleston, so I'm confused as to where they went. But we have to stop flippers. I know that 
you know, people are not going to have patience and they're going to want to buy these things because they have that anxiety that they're never going to get their hands on these things. Trust me, I put my hands on pieces that literally were up in the two, three hundred dollar range when they came out. And when I went to a convention, got it for twenty five dollars. Literally, there's no point in enabling flippers because it devalues everything and it doesn't make it fun. I have been watching Facebook and people are literally getting on Facebook trashing other people because they didn't get the pops. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I keep seeing people yelling at other people on Facebook saying you're lucky you got them because my target didn't get fucking any of them. And I'm just like, are you really shouting on Facebook through text as somebody else because they were able to get the pops and you weren't? Like, where does that sense make? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me why the community has been so aggressive lately over these particular pops. Because next week it's gonna be freaking, oh, they want the Pegasus. Last week it was the Kraken. Like, it, it makes no sense for something that doesn't have a limit to them. Remember, if there's no limited edition number, lot size, they're, they don't hold that value. There's no reason for them to hold that value. That's why I argue that Funko needs to take a value in their system, base it off of manufacturing dates, because I have pops that are 10, 15 years old, don't even have any value to them because they've been re-released and mass produced. It's, it's, just, it's just a heartache. And then the next best thing is gonna be that Loki for comic book, free comic book day. That's gonna be the next thing and people are gonna flip the comics and the t-shirts. And that's when I'm gonna get super pissed off because I want all the t-shirts and all the comics and the Loki. But sometimes we gotta take the punches and be patient. Patience is key. When something first comes out, if you can get it, get it, hold on to it. If somebody comes and buys them all out and puts them up on Macari for $15 billion, don't buy it. Because that flipper is going to make that money and then they're going to go back and they're going to do it again. And trust me when I say this, when the next big thing comes out, they will be first in line to return those pops, get their money back, and then you'll see those on the shelf with the next exclusive release. I've seen it happen so many times. And by the time they re-release them again and again and again, people are sick of seeing them, sick of trading, and it puts a bad taste in people's mouths. I've seen people get out of collecting because of issues like this. It's, it's maddening. So at the end all of this whole entire rant, please be patient. Don't enable flippers. The flippers are winning. And everybody is in such a fanatic state now in the United States that anger is being thrown at everybody. Everybody's hating on everybody all over a simple collectible. Literally. If you want it so badly, try to pre-order it, try to get to the store in time, find a friend who can go out and get it for you, make friends in collecting communities that can help you. I have friends all over the country that help me all the time get pieces that I need. And all I have to do is prepay them in advance and give them a little, little tip. Like, hey, here's some gas money. Like, it's not hard in the collecting community to get what you want. My friend went out and she bought these for me in Charleston because I couldn't physically go get them myself. And I gave her gas money for the trip. Still did not pay over $60 for those four pops. Make connections, find the people, and just make it work. Please, ladies and gentlemen, if I could stress this enough, please stop buying overpriced pops. I would understand 10 years from now somebody's selling a set for $200, cool. That makes sense. They're 10 years old. They don't make them anymore. They just came out. They literally just came out. Not even 24 hours ago. And the price has skyrocketed. Even before they hit the shelves, the price for these pops skyrocketed. So please, don't enable the flippers over a common release. It's a common release. Yes, it's a Target exclusive, but they're mass produced. Pay attention to Facebook, Macari, eBay. Do it for every major release. See the price go up and then see it flop back down for everything. Literally, three times out of 10, I would say, is about the chances of everything not coming down like I say it will. And that's always been the, the Chase Vegetas, the Chase Trunks haven't come down in price, and some of those other rare ones like the Star Wars Mandalorian. It all depends on 
the market and the community that you're catering to. Marvel has a big base. DC, big base. Dragon Ball Z, Star Wars, big base. Remember, put yourself inside the head of other collectors. When you think like other collectors and you think like flippers, trust me, when you think like a flipper, they're gonna be there earlier than you every single time and they're gonna try and get the max possible every single time. Well, I got that out in one take. Maybe I need, I need a run before every single one of my videos. Sorry for being sweaty. Sorry for looking like a gremlin. My, my makeup's all run, but I will say that I'm happy to be behind the camera. I do like venting a lot. I am notorious for venting on my live streams. So you guys can always join me on a live stream and get me going about something. How do you like the new display? This is the new studio. I am setting this room up currently right now. The dorps mm, are gonna be put on this wall because hashtag we're gonna make Dorbs great again. And this whole room is gonna, the whole dynamic of this room is gonna change. And it's making me happy because the dynamic of my apartment is changing. And even though I only have like a year and a half left in Charleston, apartment's finally getting where I needed to get. So tell me what you think down below. Trust me, I could take criticism, yell at me, whatever you want. Comment down below what you think about this fiasco. I swear there's a controversy with Funko every other day because people are just not happy and I don't think taking it out on other collectors and hating on other collectors is the right way to do it. If people want to try and flip, let them flip. The best thing you can do is keep scrolling on your phone. I swear, biggest piece of advice, have patience, keep scrolling on your phone if you don't like the price. If you want to spend the money, spend the money. I can't tell you what you to buy and not to buy. I'm not going to spend $200 on four pops. I refuse to. Like, that was younger me. I've been there. I've done that. If you guys want me to do a video on my collecting habits from year one to now, I will explain to you the hole that will be driven through your life. I've been in financial debt because of collecting and I'm finally in a stable place to where I can buy whatever I want. So please don't make these little mistakes. If you want to collect Funko Pops, they're the easiest thing to collect. You just have to have patience. I'm Admiral Funko. That's my opinion on these things. No, I did not get Spider-Man. Yes, I do plan on doing 360s of all four of these with the black light because I do have a black light so you guys can see them up close if you weren't able to get your hands on them. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, it, we're collecting. It's not a competition. Nobody is better just because they have something else in their collection. Everybody values their collections differently. And that is for now. I am going to go take a hot steamy bubble bath and then go to bed because I'm exhausted. And that was a lot of running. I'm gonna drink some water and eat something. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad I finally got the rant out. Also, I am counting my collection. If you're still here, I'm gonna be counting my collection in the next couple of days. Comment down below how many pops you think I have. And I will tell you it's above 1850 just to give you a little, little nudge in the right direction, just a little nudge in the right direction, about 1850s so of comment down.